Bally Bohol at the fourth in a series of public meetings to hear about Fingal County Council's plans for a major sewage plant to be located in the area. And just like the previous meetings in Lusk, Rush and Loch Shinney, this meeting is thronged. The local community want to know what's finding out. Behind me there's a debate taking place, passions are running high and shortly we'll be interviewing some of the people as they come out. So Anne, what have you heard here tonight? Well, I'm really shocked that they would think about putting all the sewerage from the Dublin area, you know, one and a half million people in this beautiful rural area. You know, I'm really shocked about that. And um, we've got a way marked way. Uh, we've set up here the Ballybuckle Hedgerow Way and we're trying to attract tourists to the area, you know, because I think the, the, you know, the future is tourism and um, agriculture, and this would just destroy our waymarked way. I mean, we can't have tourists here if you've got these terrible smells, so I certainly will be campaigning against it. David, you say you're from Ballybottle. How do you think this development would impact on the town? I think it'd be a disaster on uh, the local area of Ballybuckle. Um, Ballybuckle is perceived in North County Dublin as being a very clean agricultural area and producing some fine food for uh, the Dublin and the greater Irish um, markets. So are, are you going to get involved in the campaign to fight this? Um, I am definitely, yeah. Okay, yeah there's no way, like, um, there's no problem Fingal or Ballybuckle taking its own waste. But the thing of taking the waste from three different counties into a super storage is not on for Fingal. David, what lessons do you think we can learn from the success of your campaign in Port Ran? Well, the, you can learn a lot of uh, lessons. The first lesson is to get organised. Get your communities together. Get organised. You've got to think that Fingal County Council and the Greater Dublin people, uh, the, 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 the drainage people, they, uh, they're working full time on this. They have money. You need to get organised, you need to get funded. You need a funding committee, you need a strategy committee, you need people who can drop leaflets. You need to be on the case here all the time. And most important, what, where we were coming from is that in Portran, this is not acceptable for, for Portran, foisting a, an 800,000 person equivalent uh, sewage treatment on a, a small community. And that argument holds up for Rush, Lusk, it is not acceptable. Local sewerage treatment plants do it well. And I, I, I talked at several public meetings and I talked about, ask the people of Swords, how, how their sewerage treatment plant was, has been run, ask the people of Rings End. They've been appalling. There's an appalling, uh, an appalling uh, uh, history here. Um, I, think, I think it is doable. I think we've got to change the public leadership, uh, pu public representatives and, and Fingal County Council. This is a Celtic pub. This is something that was thought about when in the Celtic Tiger years. It is very doable. I think we, we, we don't need to move it somewhere else. We need to bury this and bury this. And the people in Donabate and Port Ran uh, are certainly here to help and, and give any assistance. But you guys, whoever you're out there, you've got to do it for yourselves, you know. Nobody's going to help you. People in South Dublin, you've got to do it for yourself. And I, I said it before. This is about local democracies. This is your community. If you do nothing, you will get a sewage treatment plant. And if they don't give you a sewage treatment plant, they'll give you something else. So you've got to change your perception that you're no idiot here and, 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 and get out there and fight and do whatever you can. And if that means just writing a few submission letters or, 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 or delivering a few leaflets, so be it. But get involved. That's the most important thing. Okay, Senator Dan O'Brien, you're here at this meeting in Ballybottle. What do you think the response has been like here? Well, the response is people are shocked. There was a great turnout from the people at Ballybottle here. This is the fifth public meeting, if you include the protests and swords, and people are mobilising now. And what we're doing uh, is making sure that people are informed about the seriousness of this situation. So, you know, we want to focus on getting the submissions in by the 18th, but we've got to start putting the pressure on. Today in particular, um, the is a very, very significant day, the 10th of November, because the capital review at government was, was passed today. And unfortunately, this monster sewerage treatment plant in this scheme is retained in the government's plans in the capital programme. So whilst Metro North has, has been scrapped effectively at a cost of 3.5 billion, which would have created 6,000 jobs uh, in construction, and anything up to 30,000 jobs on its completion, that's gone, 
But what have we got instead now in North Dublin? A monster storage treatment plant at the cost of 2.7 billion, or anything between 2.3 and 2.7, we can argue the toss on that, and that's been left in the programme. Now I've seen everywhere across Fingal, and not just North Fingal, people are opposed to this. So two things is our council and our county manager need to wake up on this, and our council need to wake up on this. But most importantly, if the Minister for the Environment decides this is not going ahead, if Minister Phil Hogan decides it's not going ahead, this will not go ahead. So I would expect, and if I can say, I would expect Minister Riley, as a senior politician in Dublin North, he is at Cabinet, unfortunately he hasn't been able to attend any of the meetings yet, and I would hope to see him at some of the future ones, I would expect Minister Riley to be raising the concerns of his constituents at Cabinet. As a backbencher, a very lowly backbencher in 2007, I was able to assist the guys in fair share with other colleagues to ensure that it didn't go into Donabay Portran, just to assist. I expect no less from a senior minister and deputy leader of the main government party should be able to stop this. But what's good about tonight is again you've seen in every town and village in Fingal that there are people mobilising against this, that there are people are being, are being educated about the dangers of this and about how this could, in my view, is the biggest threat to our quality of life in North Dublin. And unfortunately, we could have had a good day today if we decided to improve the quality of life for people in North Dublin by proceeding with Metro North. So we dump Metro North, 6,000 jobs, and we bring in a monster sewerage treatment plant for the people of North Dublin in our horticulture and heartland. I don't think that's what we want. Well, there you have it from Ballybottle. On Monday, we'll be at the public meeting in Skerries in the rugby club at 8 o'clock. See you then. Thanks for watching.